So I'm like definitely over analyzing everything with this bus. And these doors are no exception. I don't really like the idea of having like a house door or like an RV door. An RV door is not like, not like the worst thing, but I definitely don't like the idea of having a house door. And I want to figure out a way to kind of like keep this as full frame normal looking as possible in regards to like a school bus. I really wanted to keep it like double fold. So right now we've got two doors. So this one has a hinge and this one has a hinge. We've got like a two inch, two and a half inch gap. There used to be these things, but they just slide right out. So I got rid of these, which exposed this gap. So I was thinking of just welding. All right, I'm gonna interrupt right here. I'm like three hours into this edit and I'm not super happy with how it's turning out. I don't wanna waste you guys' time. I appreciate you guys watching. Time is very precious and very valuable. So I'm gonna like get to the point and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. Okay, so for starters, the bus comes in two pieces, left side, right side. I took off the right side of the door and then I used the flat bar to join them all together. So I got one here, I've got another one here and I've got one on the bottom. So that's what keeps these doors kind of joined side by side so that it opens as one. And then that left a huge gap on this side. So I needed something to kind of like fill it in, which was super annoying because the door isn't straight, like nothing else on this bus. So it's not straight. So I had to like basically make a huge wedge that fit in between this and the bus. So you can see fatter at the top and gets more narrow at the bottom. And the way that I added that two by four wedge to the aluminum is I just extended over the flat iron. So I screwed in here, I screwed it up there. So then you can see it just fills in the whole gap. So then to cover the wood and all these extra gaps, I just used 20 gauge sheet metal and riveted it in on the outside. So the bus door looks really good and uh, I'm excited about it, but we're actually gonna change it up a bit. I did actually finish and continue to edit this video because I just wanted to finish it because I had a lot of footage that I think you guys might find handy. So if you guys like this door and like how it looks and it's gonna function for you, awesome. Uh, you can continue to watch the video. Yeah, thanks guys. So I was thinking of just welding these together and then putting a piece of sheet metal over top of it. But that doesn't leave me a lot of room over here. I don't have enough room to like put a handle or a lock or any kind of thing. I thought about doing like one of those storm door kind, like they're really thin. I think they're only like an inch and a half. But then because the glass is right here, I don't have a place for the lock to come in and out. So that's not going to work. I have to kind of create a bigger gap here. I think I'm just gonna try to make this as simple as possible. I'm going to take this hinge off, which is just two bolts, meet these together so they're one. So that's going to expose like a two and a half inch gap here. And I'll probably just put a piece of two by four next to it and then kind of frame it out so it holds nice and sturdy. So that's gonna to be today's project. First step is combining this door into one, so here we go. I'm in a huge mess. It got all in the bus. There's like this dust everywhere. Now that that's done, I got these two little pegs. So I need to cut those off so that these will meet up flush. So let's do that. Now that those are done, unbolt this and scoot this over. I don't know if I can weld this. This looks like aluminum, aluminum. So I don't know if I can weld that. I mean, I, th I think you can, I just don't know how. I ain't never done that before. For now, I need to unbolt this, which is like a couple of Allen keys, or two little Allen bolts actually. So I'm gonna do that. I am a little nervous because previous bus driver hit something. So this is all kind of bent and it makes this so it doesn't like it kind of like squeezes it. So I might need to finesse something or like bang that back out. But yeah, let's take this door off and put it next to this one. So I think this should be it, but I don't know because it feels like it's just in there pretty much. I feel like I'm just gonna give this thing a yank and uh, see what happens from here.
Alright, I think I need to pry it some. So it should... There it is! Yep, I was right! It sits in a hole down here, and then it has a bolt that goes to the top up there. So you just give it a little pry. Cool. That's that. It works. Ah, look at that. I appreciate you guys kind of making it this far. So like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, we'd really, really appreciate it. So yeah, thanks guys.